the theme of this video is the procurement uh, in the next PDL projects. So there is slight difference like procuring a project than procuring in a project. So if you, if you start from the, from the first one, so how did you procure a project in your next PDL business uh, expansion? This is very good and I, I think uh, the first decision that we made was that uh, what kind of execution strategy we need. And uh, that uh, discussion was involved with uh, how we are going to be able to deploy our own proprietary technology. And there, because we have our own proprietary technology, we cannot go to any uh, systems vendor or construction company or somebody and say that, please provide this kind of facility with these kind of technical specifications and uh, uh, give uh, performance guarantees. There would not be any company like that. So that meant that uh, we had to take the role of uh, technology owner and we had to provide all that uh, detailed information that what kind of facility it is, meaning that what kind of process equipment uh, needs to be bought, what are the capacities, what are the technical requirements for each individual item so that the overall uh, project would work. And, uh, the same goes to what are going to be the construction materials, how are going to be the specifications for compressors, pumps, uh, all these items, meaning that uh, in uh, this kind of uh, project uh, you easily are buying uh, hundreds of uh, process equipment and you are buying uh, thousands of uh, items. Altogether, if you look at the piping items, I would say that the single items that go into this kind of projects are uh, close to 100,000 probably. And that uh, model needs a company that is able to manage this kind of procurement uh, process to be able to package those into relevant packages and uh, go to the market and uh, be able to qualify the vendors that are able to provide uh, exactly that kind of uh, equipment or material or any other thing that we are needing. So basically you mean that uh, selecting this kind of a partner or EPCM service provider was central here? Yes. Um, and they were the ones, or the, uh, the company was the one who did the procurement in, yes. in practice. So yes. could, you, could you elaborate that? that Meaning that uh, we, we had a process in place that uh, all those uh, commercial contracts on buying any item were such that uh, Neste, Neste was uh, signing the contract and the legal contract was between Neste and the supplier. But uh, to be able to make that buying, you had to have uh, in place a process where you are pre-qualifying who mm. are those uh, vendors that are mm. capable to deliver according to those uh, specifications and uh, then you need to be uh, doing the bidding of all those uh, uh, equipment, uh, technical comparisons uh, and uh, clarification meetings. So that uh, whole procurement process uh, for a single item can be such that it takes uh, something like uh, two months as a calendar time, even starting from the point that uh, we know exactly what we want to buy. Mm. So all that uh, procurement process need to be managed by somebody for all items. And that is uh, something that is putting in place the contract. And mm -hmm. after that, you have to follow up. There is in many cases a manufacturing. Manufacturing that can take for some long lead items uh, uh, something like uh, 16 to 20 months. Mm. And you have uh, several payment installments, checks, quality checks, uh, and uh, to get the confirmation that uh, manufacturing is pro uh, progressing according to the schedule and according to uh, technical requirements. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, one part of this procurement process. So the manufacturing process is such that uh, you have to monitor that and uh, after that, when those items are ready, you, you need to take care of the transport from the manufacturing site uh, to uh, actual project site where they are installed and uh, managing all that uh, uh, logistics and uh, material management also. So as a summary, we could say that there's an importance of using the partner who has the capability to do the procurement, but also that the procurement is strongly related to 
scheduling of a project. Yes, right? that is definitely one part. And when, uh, when these kind of projects are planned, one uh, important part in that planning is uh, really to recognize that uh, what are those critical long lead item uh, uh, deliveries that have big impact, what is going to be the overall uh, project schedule. And then you need to have uh, also good knowledge that what is going to be the productivity in the construction activities that when you are working on site, you know what is the scope, but what is really the calendar time needed for doing that kind of work. And therefore, really, I think it's good to recognize that uh, any engineering company, when they are working continuously with projects, they start to have kind of established networks of vendors and contractors where they have previous experience. We have been working well with these companies. We have failed with these companies. So they have a lot of accumulated knowledge that what are those partners that are able to work together. And really the value is not only the engineering company, uh, the APCM services provider, but what is the network of suppliers and contractors. Very great, excellent. Thank you for the interview about the teams of procurement in the next PDL projects. Thank, Thank you. you.